The Prentice also Heating and Air Coaches Corner, fueled by Donut Country and McDonald's Murfreesboro on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna, and streaming at WGNSSports.com. The Coaches Show is brought to you by Bowen's Body Shop. From dings and dents to full body work, trust Jeff and Kyle Bowen to do the job right. They're located on Middle Tennessee Boulevard. And now welcome in Eagle head coach Floyd Walker. Good morning, coach. Morning, Bill. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How are you this Man, morning? Hey, I'm, I'm I'm good and dry right now. So yeah, right. life life's pretty good this morning. That's right. This you know the weather was a big part of the games last night. Um, you know Eagle had a tough tough hard fought 14-7 loss last night to a Grid Wade and County team, um, but I'm sure you had a lot of really good uh, performances from some of your players. We did. We did. I mean, it was a good night. You know. Football wise, anytime you get an opportunity to play, uh, it's always a good night. And I think uh, our kids enjoyed the conditions. I don't think it affected, you know, their attitude or anything whatsoever. Um, but we ran into we ran into a well coached, well disciplined uh, Wayne County football team. It didn't go our way, but I wasn't discouraged by our, by our effort, our attitude, or or the approach that we took going into the ball game. Uh, you know, and then, you know, Wayne County's always been a program. Right. It's been one of the top programs in the state in, in that classification. And you know, um, you know, giving them the best, you know, the game like you did last night, that's got to really encourage you going forward as you go on. Well, it does. I mean, but the thing about it is, we 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 play well enough to win. We make some mistakes at critical times, and and those are some things that we we've got to correct. We talked about that at the end of the ball game. It wasn't it wasn't like we got outplayed. It wasn't like we got out physical. It was. Is we made some mistakes and they didn't make uh, they didn't make any and and that basically was the outcome of the ball game. Well, you know you had some um, you had some good performances last night. Uh, Caleb's uh, Snitzer last night twenty carries under twenty nine yards and a touchdown and also had five tackles on defense. And uh, Marshall Span eleven tackles and um, I know you've got a lot of kids too that also play two ways. Right, right. And that's that's you know how do you balance that and you know as you get fo- uh, forward and going on towards the end of the season. It's just one of those deals. You know, first of all, Caleb and Marshall has done a super job for us all year long. And so the way those two kids have, have played this year and the effort that they've given on, on every single snap has just been been truly, truly outstanding to watch. Uh, as far as what we do, as far as you know, kids playing both ways, that's just life in one A. You know, it's one of those deals to where you're very limited. You know, number wise, uh, as far as total plays go, you're very limited about athletic uh, ability and based off position and what you run offensively and defensively. And and kids know that they have to play both ways when when they become part of my program. And and then a lot of it is conditioning and the way that they go about their daily. Um, their daily grind as far as how they lift weights, how they how they eat, how they sleep, how they rest and recover. So uh, our kids have done a super job of doing that over the over the, you know the years that I've been there, and and it's really not been that big of a deal for us. And it's one of those deals where kids they want to play. Yeah, I mean they don't want to be standing on the sideline, and if they can play offense, defense, and special team, they want to be in the ball game, and and that's been the real joy of our program. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's that's the beauty of, you know, a lot of 1A schools. You know, you want to be out there and play. You know, a lot of these right. 6A schools, they, they kids can't, you know, they got to specialize offense, defense, something like that. And your kids are getting to do everything. I mean, I would feel like that's a football player's dream. It is. That is. And it's one of those things, too. It's a great life lesson because, you know, you just don't get to do one thing, you know. you got to be able to multitask in different situations uh, in your lifetime. And, and our kids learn those valuable lessons. Well, Eagle uh, Eagles now three and three on the season, Coach. You know we're getting ready for the for the drive to the playoffs, and you know where do you assess your team right now as we get towards the second half of the season? I mean, we're good enough to be in the playoffs, and we've gotten ourselves backed into a corner. I do believe. I mean, we're sitting at two and two right now. We we haven't really thought about playoffs. All we're trying to do is just be. It's a, it's a cliche deal. We're trying to be the best version of ourselves and who we are, and uh, but well, I. If you sit here off the top of my head, I would have to say that we can't afford to stump our toe. I mean, yeah. we've got what? Uh, let me see. We got Cornersville and Richland left. Mm-hmm. I do do believe those are the last two region games. I think uh, we can't afford to lose either one of those. So if we want to, if we want an invitation to the to the playoff, and that's what you want at the end of the season. You know, having having games to that mean something. You know, and and having everything, and you can control your own destiny and. Um, you know, 
we always know Eagles going to have a huge crowd behind them, and, and I'm sure that's the same it was last night. Right. I thought, uh, I mean, even with the weather, I thought we had to, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a normal Friday night in Eagleville because of the weather, but I, I thought the parents still showed up. I thought our student body still showed up. Our administrators did. So, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like the stadium was empty. I thought Wayne County had a, a decent crowd to travel with them. But it, it was a good night for high school football at a 1A town. So we were, we were pleased with the crowd. I don't really – I really don't know, you know, who all was there and how many was there and what the numbers were, but but it still had that 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 big crowd atmosphere to the ball game. Yes, and you know, obviously last night, you know, holding Wayne County fourteen points, obviously your defense had to be doing some great things last night. Um, where do you assess your defense right now? As as you know, we're th- we're three weeks six going to week seven. I mean, defense has been a strong suit of our program since day one. We've always emphasized defense. We're always going to emphasize defense and and it's one of those deals where our kids take a lot of pride in in trying to keep opponents off the scoreboard we you know we may give up but a, a, a lot of yards but we we don't give up a whole lot of points which gives you an opportunity to win ball games and if, and if we can continue to do that and I, I i'm sure that we will we'll we'll have an opportunity to win these last couple of games we just got to clean up some things offensively eliminate some mistakes offensively and and uh, and eliminate some penalties at critical time exactly you know um you know one thing your teams have always been they've always been pretty disciplined and and really really well coached and um we're seeing that again this year with with your group um you know we'll talk a little bit about going back to the offensive side a little bit you know um what what are you pleased with so far and what do you think you need to, to try and improve on as we go on these last four games i'm tickled to death with the way the offensive line has played this year i mean those kids have have, have battled. They've they've competed at a high level. They've become more knowledgeable on on what they're doing from a from a schematic standpoint. Um, so that's been that's been the biggest the biggest thrill watching those guys develop as this season's come along. And I'm, again, I'll go back to Caleb Snitz. I can't tell you how super proud I am of the way that kid performed this year offensively. And and now you see the emergence of Thomas Solomon starting to get a little bit more involved in the running game and Jonathan Jordan getting a little bit more involved in the running game. And then you get the freshman quarterback in there with Ben Fox starting to do a little bit more. So it, it's starting to have a lot more different pieces to it, which now gives you a little bit more variety and it becomes a little bit um, more difficult to defend. So I like the way that it's trending. There's some things we still got to clean up. We drove the ball last night, but again, we either had a, 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 a missed assignment or we had a penalty, and it cost us. And you know, we we just can't play behind the chains. As any any good football team can't play behind the chains, time after time after time. And we just got to clean that up. Absolutely, and you know, I, I'm thinking, and pretty much in every sport, learning how to win these close games is it's a hard thing to do. And you know, I think once kids get that taste of it, you know. They want to do that every single time. They're going to do what it takes. And I think y'all are at that point where you're just needing one little breakthrough and winning a close game, and that snowball will start for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those deals where our kids, have, our kids really enjoy each other, and they really enjoy playing with each other. And it's one of those deals to where their attitude and their competitive spirit hasn't wavered. Uh, the goal is, is always to win every Friday night, especially when we play in Eagleville at our stadium, and I mean, and that's the most disheartening, disheartening thing so far is that we've lost two at home, and and we don't, we normally don't do that, and we got to get back to those winning ways starting this Friday night. But our kids now they they're going to show up, they're going to battle, and, and that's that's what we asked of them, and that's if we can continue to do that, I, I think everything else will take care of itself. Well, you know, the weather was a big key in all the games last night. Did you do anything in practice this week, kind of getting your guys ready to handle the the wetness of the of the football and and all that kind of stuff? No, because I really wasn't worried about the the weather. I thought we could handle the football. We didn't. We didn't have any fumbles. We didn't have any bad snaps offensively. Uh, the wind. The wind was the the major thing. Was it was hard to throw the ball unless you had the wind at your back. You know. The wind's blowing in your face. It may have been up to, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour. And, and footballs just don't travel in the wind that way. So, but that, as far as doing anything different based off wet ball drills, we didn't do any of those. We didn't go on the center. We stayed in shotgun all night long. And, and I, I thought our kids did a super job, especially Matthew Martin in center, snapping the ball to the quarterbacks all night long. And that's, that just, that's a testament to, you know, discipline and, and staying focused and, 
you know, you got to have a really good group that, that, that can get through those yeah. things because it is different. Oh, it is. It is. But it's one of those deals where it's a trust fact. It's a trust factor that you've got a yeah. senior who's played in a bunch of ball games uh, that's snapping the football for you. Yeah. And he's played in all kind of different conditions and all kind of different, you know, situations. So we didn't. We didn't feel like that was ever going to be an issue for us as far as snapping the football goes. But, again, just the win is just something that you cannot prepare for. Uh, you can prepare, prepare, uh, prepare for rain, wet, you know, cold. You can do those type of things. But, but the win is just a, another totally different factor when you're, when you're talking about football. And this week, um, y'all are getting ready to host uh, Tennessee High or Tennessee Heat. Yeah. And um, – you know, this is a this is a different kind of preparation for you this week because it is fall break week. Right, right. Is there anything that difference you're going to do or try to get them to focus because they, you know, they are going to have that little bit of fall break time at the end of the game Friday night? No, no, because our kids they'll handle it. Friday will be a little bit different for them because we'll we'll have our school wide fundraiser. Uh, it's a little bit different because they'll have a little free time and but we'll try to help occupy that. But the big thing that we'll do is we'll go back to work on Monday and we'll try to limit. Uh, you know, go back and try to straighten out the mistakes that we made, and we'll try to clean up a little bit more things offensively, and we'll put a thing or two back in offensively that we hadn't been able to do, and and, and our kids will respond. I mean, I I don't worry about what our kids' attitudes are going to be on Monday. I just I don't worry about what our kids are thinking about fall break. I I think our kids will be itching to try to get back in the winning column and then go on fall break because we'll we'll get them off that entire week. So exactly. Yeah, and um, you know we we just we know that uh, the support out there for Eagleville is is like no other, and it's really unique. And you know I'm you know f- from afar, and, and now being able to see a little bit, I've I've always had a great respect for Eagleville and the fans and and the community out there. And they are they are unique, and they are uh, they're amazing people out there. I mean, you, people say it all the time how how special it is, and it and it truly is. And what makes it special is the kids. I mean, you have you have great kids that don't mind working. The Coach's Show is brought to you by Bowen's Body Shop. From dings and dents to full body work, trust Jeff and Kyle Bowen to do the job right. They're located on Middle Tennessee Boulevard. Quick, convenient, efficient. Three words that we all hope to experience when we do business. Our goal at JHA Company is to bring just that to an industry that's traditionally dictated to the customer when it's time to do business. Whether you're purchasing class pictures 